Welcome to Greater Works Ministries International, hosted by Professor Charles Chekwa. Greater Works Ministries International is taking the message of the Lord's love, power, and glory to the nations, one person at a time, one family at a time, one nation at a time. The goal of Professor Charles and his wife, Reverend Eunice Chekwa, is to see millions come to Christ each year. Now, here is Professor Chekwa. Jesus. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. Thank you, O oh God. These are your people. We have ministered and you said, go, make disciples of all nations. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. In the name of Jesus, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. You shall cast out devils. You shall speak with new tongues. These are the people of God. Your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. No infirmity shall dwell in your body right now. Right now. He has blessed your bread. He has blessed your water. He's taking sickness away from you. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be healed. In the name of Jesus, sickness go. I rebuke the spirit of infirmity over your life now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Be healed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. For this purpose, Jesus was very manifest that he would destroy the works of the devil. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I rebuke infirmity Amen. from your head to the soles of your feet. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit of infirmity yeah. over your life. Be healed. 
Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed. You know, begin to do what you couldn't do before. Check your back. Check your back. If your pain is gone, let's know. Check your slow again. Check, check your knee. Check even if I didn't go your condition. Arthritis is going right now. In the name of Jesus. Arthritis is going right now. You're feeling the heat right now. Right now. Stomach ulcer. Chest pain. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Receive your healing right now. Do what you couldn't do before. If your back was holding, bend down, touch your toes. Bend down, touch your toes. Bend down, touch your toes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Check your ankle. Check your ankle. Check your shoulder. Get your hand up and down, 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 up and down. In the name of Jesus. If the pain is gone, let's know. If the pain is gone, raise your hand. If the pain is gone, raise your hand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What I'm going to do now before I call the people. Is anybody's pain gone? Before I lay hands on people, is your pain gone? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. No, raise your hand if your pain is gone. Come and say if your pain is gone. Come on. Come on quickly. 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 If your pain is gone. Come on quickly. Come on quickly. Come on quickly. Come on quickly. If your pain is gone. Only if your pain is gone. I was suffering from the big pain for a long time. For how many? How many years? Two years. Okay. To a point that I even come from my place and stay with my mom, but with other issues as well. But with regard to this one, so I was suffering time to time when I had to go to work, I struggled. But now, I don't feel anything like Praise this. the Lord, come on here, hallelujah. Come on, come on here. What I want you to do, I want you to face the church. Face, no, 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 face the church. I want you to bend down and touch your toes. Get up again. Bend it, touch, touch it again. Touch it again. Do it faster. Do it faster. Do it faster. And no pain. Somebody shout out. Hallelujah. God was having a problem with my throat. Uh, for, for quite some time, uh, I used to have uh, you know, a lot of mucus running through the, the, the throat up to this, this end. And then I would cough a lot of uh, mucus. So, and then it's, it's, a, it's a very, very painful uh, uh, situation. But now, uh, after the doctor said we must touch where we are feeling sick, I touch my throat and I touch my bed because also at, at my bed, on my bed, I used to have a terrible pain. So to, now I feel I am free. Somebody so shout out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bend down, touch your toes. No pain. No pain. Okay, okay. Touch it again. Hallelujah. Touch it again. No pain. No. When somebody shall pray for Jesus, for the name of Jesus, your healing is coming. My problem goes like this. I had a problem for a long time in my stomach. When I eat, there's a noise inside. Even when I sleep, something is making noise. So, today, I believe that I'm here. Come on, come on, come on, Jesus. Come on, yeah, bring that here, bring that. Bring that, bring that. More than 10 years, all right. Thank you, Jesus. I saw people, no, no, don't, don't, don't. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Church, stretch out your hand towards her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will never know it again. In Jesus' name. You will never know it again. In the name of Jesus. You are healed completely in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Thank blood clap for Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had a back ache. The man of God was just naming the sicknesses and I all I got all what he was saying. <laughs> all of them. All of them. My back. One time I was in the house. I felt somebody pulling me back like this, but there was nobody. I hold the, 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 the table and I say, I'm not falling down and I'm not dying. But I was broken somehow. I live with that pain. So, my head, I, I, even 
in, in the taxi, I was telling this lady who was leaning on me, I said, I'm not laughing. I've got a pain on my hand. Very, very sore. So I thank God because even the head was not fine this morning. I feel all right. Praise the Lord. Come on, come on, let me just put my hand on you. Your body is the temple of God. They will never come back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I've been going through a heart of a, a headache for, the, for, for almost from 1994. 1994. 1994. Oh my goodness. Today, it, uh, I was going through, it, it, it was like part of my life, going through physicians, different types of the doctors and neurologists. They were failing to give it this relevant medication. I was just moderating the pains. That was the type of life that I was living. I thank the God. I don't feel any pain. Mostly it will affect the nerves. Somebody shout out in here. It's 1994. Yeah, I have seen people who suffered for 30. They came out a man for 50 years. Father, in the name of stretch out your hand over them. Everybody say this ceiling is permanent. Yes. 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 The whole week I could not wake up on the bed. I thought my spine is broken and I had a torn, a torn tendon. I could not raise my hand, I could not drive. But as soon as men of God did let healing touch my tendon, now I can lift my Somebody hand. shout out! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. This ceiling is permanent. You will never know it again. I declare your body to be the temple of God. You will not come back in Jesus' name. I suffered uh, what doctors couldn't say whether it's a stroke or not, but I grew an abscess at the back of my head and I went for surgery. But what it also did, because the abscess was sitting on the neck, I, I couldn't use most of my right hand, I couldn't use my hand, I couldn't use my, my, my leg, and the knee was very painful. So after the surgery, the doctor said it's going to take a long time to recover, I must not be impatient. But when you declared, man of God, when I was sitting there, and I started moving my limbs, or also I had crushed my discs on the lower back uh, in 2003. So when you declared, I started getting, feeling the heat as you were explaining it. And, and the abscess, when it was on my head back then, for 14 days I couldn't sleep. And my eyes were itchy and very sore. And I could only have a blurred vision. When you declared today, I can see clearly my limbs were very uh, Two days ago, um, I went for the business meeting. I'm a business consultant in the mining industry. Basically, the person that actually called us for the meeting, I was, it was myself and my associate is here. But on our, on our arrival, he basically, because he has the discernment spirit that, you know what, we must see eat. When they buy us food, we must see eat. Definitely, the meeting took place, and then we didn't, they said they must order anything, we said no. We, are, we only ask for the glass of water with lemon. I drank that glass of water. The last two days I've been having a pain here. I told you, just on my way coming here, the pain was severe. The moment you pray, the pain left. Hallelujah! Powerful! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We had Gabriel took us for a breakfast. Come on here, let me pray for you. I was feeling pain almost about 13 years at my back. 13 years? 13 years. But after this prayer, Come on here, come on here. Hallelujah. You want to change the church? You want to put the devil to shame? Touch your toes, bend down. Get up again. Hallelujah. No pain. No pain. Do it faster. Somebody shout. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. God bless you. And this day will never come back in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I would love to honor the anointing upon Apostle in my corner. The anointing upon the doctor. And for a very long time, maybe 14 years, I had a, a pain on, on my manhood, the other side. Then the minute the man of God prayed, the Holy Spirit touched me and then 
I felt the pain going out. Praise God, Jesus. Somebody shout. I had an operation here. And I, I've been having a problem with my stomach. Out of that blue, I would have severe pains in my stomach. And when, it, when, I, when I experienced that, I can't even move, I can't do anything, I'm searching. So this morning, uh, I spoke to uh, the man of God on Tuesday and he said I must come back today. And I was, like myself, I, I was, I was asking myself that, no, oh, I didn't go to work and then what am I going to say? And then I told myself that, Lord, you're going to answer for me. On Thursday, I'm going. And then this morning when I woke up, and then I had a terrible pain in my, in my stomach again. And this, the pain here on my leg started again this morning. And then when I was sitting here, it started even on my shoulder. When I started declaring and praying, that pain, all of them, they gone. Somebody shout on yourself. you my problem started um, when uh, I got an accident in 2014. Uh, my left leg, when I'm like walking, it will lock and I would have to sit down or ask someone to make me be able to, to be on the floor. But today, when I arrived in this, um, in this altar, before the service started, it started shaking. And I went to the bathroom, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed that I must be located and be healed today. I must receive my healing. And for real, the man of God that is holding the mic, I was the one he, he anointed, actually he touched and I was like located. And then when the man of God, uh, Dr. Uh, Chakwa came, I was shaking, the whole body was shaking. Before he even stepped into the altar, it was like shaking. Hallelujah. I had a pain. In actual fact, this winter, I could do quite like this. Wow, now you're spot again, spot. Spot again, powerful. 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 Hallelujah. very possible that some, somebody has put uh, poison in the food and then gave me and then uh, the following day I went into fasting and my family, my, my uncle, the one whom I stay with, he told me that you will die. Then I said no, I will continue fasting. So during the night of the day I started fasting, I, uh, at around 12 midnight I started vomiting. And until 4 p.m. 4 a.m. in the morning, uh, my uncle came from the place. He says he found me laying on the floor. Actually, I collapsed. It is yesterday. I could not even come for one on one because I said I will go to my father, and I will I will be healed. Some other people came here for one on one, and they came back. They found me in a very bad situation. And today, in this morning, I was uh, supposed to, to go to the clinic. But I said, no, if Jesus Christ fasted for 40 days and he was still alive, the Spirit of the Lord, if, if the Spirit of the Lord is still alive, I will also live today. Powerful, powerful. So I think some people who know me, they, they can see that I'm very different. And when I came here, I could not even walk properly. So I, when I was seated there, and the man of God declared healing I, because I, I, I was left with pains in my stomach. I really vomited everything because I was using the witchcraft anointing and also the, the, the favor anointing. And now I was left with pains. But when the man of God declared healing, I'm totally healed. So far, I had a problem for many years. I can't even count. The, uh, my major problems were uh, it was cataract and this uh, right hand. I couldn't 
lift the, this head up like this. Somebody shout out hallelujah. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Hallelujah. For how long was that? For how many years? Is it, is it more than 10 years? More than 20 years. More than 20 years. More than 30. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the, all, almost everything that you have is something that I'm serving. As a writer, I was touching, touch, touching, then touching, break, all, all over your body. All over. I'm Jesus knows touching. your name, right? He knows your address. And I said, he knows where you sit. This is my day. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. This is my day. I thank God because I believe that I am permanent. Amen. 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 Come on. Maybe you're here, you've been trying to have babies, children, you're having to start. Or maybe that's not you. Maybe you have um, somebody you want to sign in the gap for. And uh, if you're here, I want to pray for you right now. If you're looking for a child or children, just come on quickly. God is going to open that door. Church, sit, 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 church. Church, sit down. I don't want you to stand too long. If you're looking for baby, come on. Now, if you're standing in the gap, let me just say something so that you know whether you want to change your mind. In the United States, and also it happened in Kenya, uh, a couple of women came to stand in the gap. One, one was a pastor's wife. She came to stand in the gap for her friend. And then she stood in the gap. We prayed for her. Her friend got pregnant. And she got pregnant. And the husband called me. Said he was going to sue me, take me to court. Why did I pray for the wife? They already had five children. I said, I didn't. You don't sue me, you sue the Holy Spirit. I wasn't the one who made her pregnant. I said, I didn't pray for her, I prayed, I prayed for the other person. She said, now, she said, now we are six children, and my hands are full. I said, don't sue me, sue the Holy Spirit. So if you're standing in the gap, if you don't want to be pregnant, you might just go sit down now. Because you might be pregnant. You might be pregnant. If you don't want to be pregnant, go sit down now. Go sit down. This is serious. This is serious business. We did it in Kenya, 15 women. Stood in the gap, they all got pregnant. So I, don't, I just want you to know. Alright? I want you that are here. Put your hand in your stomach. He can only use me.
Song, song, give me a song. So you talk on in a back, yeah, so. 